Welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, tonight, uh, we are going to be speaking with the one and only King Hustler. Uh, we're going to be discussing his uh, new single with the shits, and then also he has an upcoming single called Computer Money. Um, and welcome to Indie Talk. So I'm going to be hosting today. Asia, she had to step away, but I will be holding it down. So hello, hello, hello. Our guest is in the building. So let me add you in. So I'm super excited um, to discuss with him. He wears many hats. Um, so we're just going to get into it and just chop it up. What happened to my guest? My guest is not here. What happened? Okay, here we go. Instagram is just Instagram, I swear to God. It's not letting me accept. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Guys, just stay with me one moment because Instagram is like a stupid. All right, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna come back. Oh, okay, all right. Now we're where? Now we're live. Hi. Hey, you can see me, right? Yeah, you're kind of like probing on. <laughs> Yeah, you're like frozen, like you're stuck. All right, okay, all right, wait, no, no, yeah, you're, you're like lagging. All right, give it a little second. You can hear me too, right? Yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you. It's just delayed. All right, I think we're good. See me, I'm lit. Okay, hello, 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 welcome. How are you doing today? I'm all good, Helen. How are you? I'm well. I cannot complain. Listen, the weather was beautiful, so you know, I gotta take advantage of that. So, uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Um, this is our segment called Indie Talks. Uh, my name is Danielle Meeks. Uh, my co host, Asia, she is not with us today, so I will be holding it down. Um, Indie Talks, we talk with the most hottest up and coming independent music artists in the industry. Um, and tonight we have King Hustler. Um, so I definitely just want to get into it. One, um, just like tell us a little bit about your story as far as like how is it that you got into music? How did you know that you wanted to do this? Yeah, um, I've been doing music since I was like young and since I was a teenager, but I just started taking it serious like, professional a few years ago. And, like, uh -huh. I was young, I had a passion for it. The passion still there, but now I got a reason. I got a family, I got to take care of stuff. So I, was, I figured, <clears throat> pardon me, I might as well make a living from my passion. I mean, mm -hmm. So now you are from New York. Okay. What part of New York are you from? Yeah, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, but I've been living in the Bronx for the past. Okay, okay, all right. Listen, New York, New York is New York. Um, so now there is no coincidence as far as how your name is. King Hustler, because you wear, like I said earlier, you wear many hats. Um, one, you're a father. Uh, you're an artist, producer. You are a multi-instrumentalist. And you're also an ultra, uh, entrepreneur, excuse me. How do you balance, like, find balance with those different roles? Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult. I'm never going to say that it's easy, especially me doing the majority of the work on myself. You know, I got the assistance of my family and stuff. It's difficult. It just got to be something that you really want to do. It's something that I really want to do. So no matter how difficult it is, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna find a way to make Wait, it. Wait, you sound like really. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you sound like really low. Oh yeah. Um. Can you hear me better? I got to talk yeah, louder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So yeah, what I'm saying is, um, just finding the balance is it's, it's difficult. It's not really easy, but it's something that I really mm -hmm. want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I make it work for me. Like everybody's situation is different. So I find what works for me. Uh, you know, I'm um, planning ahead and stuff like that, being more organized with my thoughts and what I want to do, strategizing and stuff like that, um, making time for the family and shit like that. It, it, it's, it's, it's a struggle in its own, but it's all about how you make it. You know I mean? 
how you go about it. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I completely understand. Um, and it is like hard, like having that balance, but it's just something that you just got to do, you know? Um, now being that you are a producer and we, I want to get into you actually producing, you have an upcoming single computer money. How is that process? Like, you act like do you find like as a producer like you get more frustrated when something doesn't come out the way you want it and you have like a certain vision for it um yeah so like with com computer money specifically how that happened is just i was just harmonizing a, a quick bar in my head i mm -hmm. the bar, wrote it down and then i went and i made a beat going around the, the sequence of that one bar and i just made the whole song it, it, i've been doing this a long time so it's kind of easy to me you know what I'm saying it's not like okay. no frustration in that. So you make the beat first, or you just like have like the the rhyme in your head first? Honestly, it just depends on how I feel mm -hmm. that day. It depends on how it comes to me. So, okay. so you would make the beat first, or I would make the rhyme first. It depends on how it comes to me. Yeah. So like when you go into the studio, like what's your like what's your feng shui? Like what's your mood when you go into the studio and you're recording something? Um, this and this right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need right there. It's some peace and quiet. For me yeah. And yeah, that's it. I'm, I live in my studio. I'm in my studio right now. Okay. Here. Do you, because I know it's like some people, like, they like to make it like a party vibe and like they'll invite friends over and like have like a turn up to get some type of inspiration. Do you do that at all? Yeah. And, like, I'm really serious and focused more like how I am right now on my personal mm -hmm. I like quite, I don't want nobody around me. But when it's like a big tape, I'm doing collaborations or working with other artists, I don't mind the vibes. But my stuff is personal. I like to focus more. Mm-hmm. So, like, how is it? Because with the shits, is like a very, like, up-tempo, and it's, like, a very nitty-gritty, but it's still turn-up vibe. So what was that vibe when you when you um, created that? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was going for when I made with the shits. I wanted to still... Summertime is coming up. You know, everybody want to hear music. Yeah, wanna, it's, very, it's very... It's given, like, I'm doing 90 on the highway. Like. <laughs> Basically, that's what I was headed for with that, but still trying to keep it pretty hood, because that's what's going on right now, and I'm talking that shit, so put the best of both worlds together, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, being that you are from Brooklyn and, you know, New York drill, it's different from drill from any other city, like Chicago drill is like different. So, um, like, how do you foresee as far as like the future when it comes to drill music? Yeah, um, drill music, that's good. You feel me? I'm not really a drill artist per se, like picking that round, but drill is a good genre. Um, I mean... It, I can't really call it, you feel me? You may never know. Something could be here today and going tomorrow, or something could be, it could last forever. So it depends on who the artists are. Like, mm -hmm. Pop, Pop Smoke was doing good with it. Fabio Foreign doing excellent with it right now. So as long as we got hitters like that still pushing through, I see it lasting a long time. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. And um, also, there was a lot of controversy because Fabio, he was declaring himself as the king of New York. In your opinion, what do you feel it takes to be or hold the crown of being the king of New York? I mean, in my own opinion, I feel like I, I feel like I'm the king of New York in my own life. You feel know what I'm saying? I feel like mm -hmm. I know it, just the world don't know it yet. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that you gotta be willing to hold that, hold the whole city on your back by all means. Not just a rapper who just shout out, I'm the king, the, the city, the king, the king of the city. You gotta be doing stuff within the city before you even make it. In my opinion, you feel know what I'm saying? You gotta be involved in the city before you even a millionaire or even got that brand. I feel like I've been doing that my whole life. People just don't know that about me. You feel know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking Fabio Farn and everything like that because he's in that position to say that right at the moment. Mm -hmm. I know that's me. People just don't know me. So I got to do my part to prove it just like everybody else got to do. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And it's like, if you don't have that confidence in yourself, how is anybody else going to hold that confidence to you, you know? Like, you right. should be able to, like, talk your shit. Because you're not going to say, oh, I'm number two, I'm number three. No, you're going to say, I'm number one. And okay, um, when it comes to working with you or collabing with collab collabing with you, sorry, uh, what is the most important thing an artist uh, should know when it comes to working with you? I'm serious. I'm very serious. If you gonna work, you gotta work. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. I understand everybody's time is different, so I can't say I need it by next week because I'm I've been late with stuff myself sometimes because everybody be tired of. But you gotta be serious though. You gotta be committed. You gotta be um, dedicated. You gotta be a real artist. You got some people just play artists. I'm going to be a rapper today, but I'm not a rapper tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I charge for my, for my collaborations and stuff, but um, like in the next month, I'm about to not charge. I'm about to do like a free situation where the artists just working and stuff like that. So, 
you just gotta be serious. And that's not really much to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no bougie person. Though. Like I work with anybody. You just gotta be talented and serious. That's it. Just like me. Yeah. How do you know when? How do you know when somebody is like serious or like when they're like bullshitting you? Like, dang, like I can't do this right now. But they're like really, really good with it. Or like versus them just like always coming up with excuse after excuse. Now you could tell. I've been dealing with a lot of bullshitters for years, so you could tell. Mm -hmm. Automatic, and you automatically know who's about this shit. You even got people trying to front like they're about this shit. Mm -hmm. Pressure always make people fall. You feel what I'm saying? If you're that person, yeah. with them, you can take those risks to get to the next step. You can see that it, it, it spills off a person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. No, that's so true. Um, now, with so many different trends and looks in the music, how do you hold on to your individuality? Yeah, um, that's all I know how to do is be myself. I don't know how to be nobody else. So, mm -hmm. Like growing up, try to fit in with other people and stuff, didn't even work. I can't do that. Y'all didn't make me that way. So I, I can listen to the Migos and love their music. I can listen to this person and love their music. I spit how I spit. It's just gonna be like that. Yeah. Okay. And who would you say are some of your influences? Oh, there's a lot of them. Like, I like um, Hope, of course, Jay Z. You got people like um, Mr. Rock. Yeah, of course. Uh, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. so, people like that. New York niggas for the most part, not too much South niggas. On the South side, it got to be like Offset and um, Ludacris. That's what we, that's what we do. do you listen to any like West Coast artists? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, I fuck with all the West Coast, well, excuse me, the West Coast artists, all of them, but they're not really my influences. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and then what are some building blocks when it comes to having a great team? Like, what are you looking for? for somebody to be when it comes to somebody who may be PR, managing you? You just got to have the same, um, same dedication. I know where I'm trying to go. You got to know where I'm trying to go. You got to know what part you're willing and you, how hard you want to go to help me get to that goal, vice versa. I got to do my part to help you help me get to that goal. You feel what I'm saying? And that's all it is. You got to be serious. Yeah. It's nothing more to say about it. Man. People mm -hmm. have Hearts, they hearts to be in the right place, but they just don't have the will to get it done. And I don't got time to wait for nobody. So I'm like a train with no brakes. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, time time is precious. Like time doesn't wait for anybody, and it's like you need to get things done. Um, now, um, what makes King Hustler different from when you first released your first single up until now? What's the space that you would say that you were in? Um, growth. Just broke basically. Um, with each single, it's a different part of who I am. So, like, with the shits, it's more of like a street type of anthem, party type of drum. Through the money, it's more of a, it's more of a braggadocious type of song. It's just all about how I feel at the moment. And I got different points in my life where I feel different ways. So, I make these songs reflect how I'm feeling at that moment. So, when I myself go back and listen to these songs, I can see the growth in myself just through my music and through my art alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Would you say like your writing is different, or um, like your like your writing style is different? Most definitely, I definitely will say that, and it, it's it's got a lot of different elements. Like um, even though I'm not encouraged by, I still like to stay current. So I'm not I'm not trying to rap like I'm from the '80s or 2022. You know what I'm saying? So I still yeah. have to my penmanship to make sure I still sound up to date to make sure niggas actually want to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's about it as far as like my pen changing. How do you feel about like artists having other people write for them, especially as a rapper? Because it's like so much pressure. Like as a rapper, like you have to write your own rhymes, but then some people get away with it. I, I'm not cool with it. I write my own stuff. You're an artist, mm -hmm. you're a rapper, MC, you write your own shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. Um, now, uh. First of all, congrats on being nominated for Show For Me, um, the Independent Music Award. And this is your second nomination within six months? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, what was going through your mind when you were nominated? You're doing something good, my boy. They starting to see you. <laughs> Basically, that's all it was. You feel me? Sometimes you could get discouraged. You could work yeah. hard. And if you don't, you're not doing it for others, but sometimes you want a little pat in the back. You want to, oh, that's good. You want a little kudos. So those are just a, a reminder that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Keep going if somebody's watching. Yeah, because, yeah, no, absolutely. Because it's like, you know, some days you're like, damn, this is, 
when am I going to get noticed? And it's great to be recognized. Okay, and um, now what are your thoughts when it comes to Mayor uh, Eric Adams? He's basically building a team to kind of like target um, drill music. But I know you said like you're not a drill artist, but like as, when it comes to just any form of genre of music, uh, he's targeting that to use that against people with crimes. What is your opinion on that? I mean, it's a double-sided situation, you know what I'm saying? As an artist, it's like, I want to be able to make the kind of music I want to make and express myself. Like, that's what I'm doing. I can't tell you what I can't, or I got to get locked up just because I'm making the same type of song. You know what I'm saying? But in the same turn, it's like, if we artists, we should be able to make music about something else besides killing each other and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a drill artist, so I just got about that. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, but is there such a thing as separating the music from the art? Um... Depends, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're really living that life, that's your everyday life, that's all you're going to know to make art about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really fault that person. That's they're a product of your environment and circumstances. They really have no control over that. You have to take yeah. them somewhere else and give them different experiences if you expect them to make Like, when these people get on and they get rich, now, don't you notice this how it happened? Like, the hood niggas usually start off rapping about the hood shit. The videos is always in the hood. It look real hood. And then as they progress, you can see they, 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 they wardrobe change. Mm -hmm. A little less niggas in the video. They take it from the hood and take it to a new spot. You gotta give these people time. They're not trying to give us the time. They just want to kill us off and control us. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, now, what are a couple things that we can expect for you coming up this year for 2022? Oh, yeah, it's on go. It's the King Hustler Takeover. You feel me? I'm about to be doing more shows. I'm outside. This Corona shit, fuck COVID. I'm about to be outside. <laughs> Saying. I'm making songs because now I'm fully producing my own shit. So now I don't got to wait for nobody. Before I used to have to wait for people to make the beats, wait for somebody to do this. Wait for, I don't got to wait for nothing. So I'm making the music whenever I want to make it all my time at my rate, to my quality, to my standards. So it's going to be nothing but fire ass music coming from me from now on to the day I die. So yeah, it's I'm more summer anthems. Yeah, you feel me? I'm about to go crazy. I'm trying to be the next. I'm trying to be better than whole Actually, I'm trying to take the whole world by Talk small. your shit. Talk your shit. I'm trying to go crazy. I, I can show better than I can explain it. That's why I like these little sit downs that I get to do with people because yeah, nah. one moment I get to actually explain my moves. Because like I said, I'm like a moving train without brakes. I just move and move and move. And I let y'all see the results from my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally. Um, now, do you have like any project, like any fully project that you have that's going to come out? Um, nah, so what I'm doing right now is my whole career since I started music, I've never released an album, EP, or anything like that. I just did a mixtape and sing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm finally, for the first time, going to work on my first album. It's going to take a while. I'm not going to release it this year. I'll probably drop it next year. So I'm just building up to it. Videos, performing, singles, um, promoting the singles. Just getting my name out there, building up my audience and stuff. Like, I'm really trying to take over. It's one thing to sit there and make music all day and make music all day. You got to get it out there. People got to know you. Yeah. Oh, you Any um, features that you have upcoming that you want to talk about? Um at the moment no not right now i'm in the works at home i just like i did a show the other day in brooklyn um the day summer shout out to all those owners i was there and i linked up with all of them so hopefully i just i like working with independent underground artists who's doing who's going as hard as i am you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. build and we could get to that level and we start collaborating with the push your t's and Kanye's and this that and we got to help each other build up you know what i'm saying and we don't got to be a part of the same team to do that just collaborating and networking that's it yeah absolutely make those lateral moves that's right Cause you know, like some people, they feel like, oh, like I'm here, I can only work with people that's up here, and just to level up. Like, no, you gotta work with the people that's on the same level of, as you, so that way y'all can like both progress. And how are you continuing to educate yourself when it comes to the music business and making proper decisions that you can benefit from? Yes, yeah, so I'm basically self education all day, every day. Um, life experiences from other people's experiences who got more experience than me i ask them for advice or um, hands on or i just <laughs> research stuff and stuff like that I, I, every day i'm teaching myself it's an it's a ongoing situation you can never learn too much you know what i'm saying our brains is like a computer got unlimited memory you can just fill it up every day mm, talk about woof, say that again say that again please yeah i said, I said our brains is like a um computer we got unlimited memory so you just gotta fill it up every day Yes, yes, talk about it. Now, is there any, like, any bad decisions that you were just like, damn, like, I really wish I didn't do this that you learned from? 
that you can share? Like maybe somebody else is going through that same thing? Um, I look at it like this. I would say yeah, but I would say no. Bad this regrets is just an excuse for you not to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just got faith in God and believe in yourself. You will always find a way out, no matter how bad. If you're intentionally doing wrong and you're purposely doing bad, then I, I can't say nothing. I don't know. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> it just so happened that you you trying your, your hardest to get somewhere. You keep falling on hard times and obstacles in your way. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep hopping over. Yeah. Just keep going. And just trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Just keep going. Yeah, and I always say there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Always. It's it's never gonna be dark forever. It's just it's it's gonna happen. You know. Um, and what uh well yeah you didn't that one. Um, what would you say is like your biggest career sacrifice? I'm making it right now. This this very minute. Um, I don't have a nine to five. I'm putting all my financial and just future life and belief into my King Hustle Records business, the subdivisions I got in this music, while trying to take care of family with the help of my lady. I'm, we assist each other. You know, we're together with five kids and trying to have the balance between being a family man and mm -hmm. doing the thing at the same time. That is the hardest goal. That's the hardest task ever. Mm. But you listen, you do it every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you make it look so easy. Yeah, make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> you like, deep down inside, it's not easy. But it's worth it. Though. Now, talk about uh, your apparel that you have, your apparel line that you have. Oh yeah, so um, King Hustle Apparel. Um, I like getting fly, and I like wearing my own stuff. And I feel like if I'm gonna make something, nobody don't make my style. You can, but why? Why spend? I just like my own type of taste, and I feel yeah. like if, some, if I like my own type of taste, other people gonna like it too. So I really like my own clothes specifically for myself, just so I can look different from everybody else. But I'm like, I might as well just sell this to people too. Mhm. Mm and where do you have like a website, or where if anybody's interested in purchasing? Yeah, you can find everything that I got on KingHustlerEmpire.com. Like everything. I'm um, gonna book studio time. I'm um, gonna buy some apparel, photo shoot, video shoots, my music, everything, my bio, my press kit, everything. KingHustlerEmpire.com. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, um, now, what? Just I know we spoke about kind of like spoke about it earlier, but what? advice or words of encouragement for any up and coming artist that's looking to break out in this industry that you would give them? Don't wait, just stop. You fuck around and waste your life just waiting for the right moment. I gotta wait for the right time to drop this track. I gotta wait for the, this to go to the studio. For this. If you know this is really what you wanna do, you gotta do it. You can't let nobody stop you. You're gonna have to sacrifice it all, sacrifice everything. You're gonna be miserable sometime. You're gonna lose friends. People ain't gonna fuck with you. People gonna seem fake sometimes. You gonna meet new friends, new relationships and friendships you never thought you would even dream to run into had not you started doing what you wanted to pursue. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. And I'm glad you kind of, like you brought up like friendship. Now, talk about like a little bit when it comes to like doing your thing and then like having friends who are supportive and then those friends that are like not posting your stuff and and just like oh not listening or not giving like act like good feedback yeah um when i'm done giving attention to the haters and the negative people i talk about them in my music i mean but so they they do their job because the haters allow me to know that i'm actually doing something worth hating on you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying other than that the supporters is really what drives me to keep going without them like I said, I wouldn't have the feeling that I'm doing something. Supporters, yo, they like my stuff. I like this. Let me support you. Let me download this. Let me cop this from you. Let me come up, pull up to your show and shit like that. And let me know that I'm doing something worth somebody wanting to support. You feel me? So the supporters yeah. mean it is forever. Me. Ain't that a great feeling to have like supporters that just like, you know. And it's crazy like you'll get you'll get support from people that you don't even personally know. Right. Than like your actual friends. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like the friend. The friend, I got family. You feel me? If you family with me, you family. I don't really believe in that friend stuff. Cause friend, people, people decide when they want to be. You feel me? They want to be your friend when it's beneficial, and all that other. You know the whole. Thing, so. Yeah. 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 Well, King Hustler, I appreciate you so much for taking time out your day to chop it up with me. Um, let listen, link link your stuff. Let people know where they can find you, where they can follow you. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, so y'all know the name is King Hustler. Um, at King Hustler CEO on Instagram and Twitter. On YouTube, it's Smokey HDTV, King Hustler Empire dot com. Oh, and I'm coming back with the King Hustler cookies, y'all. You know what I mean, King Hustler cookies. Yeah, I had I, I set up King King Hustler cookies. Anybody who know me or fuck with me know exactly what that is. Is um I started my own cookie brand. I wanted to be a household brand like Oreos okay. and Oreos. And I had shut down production for a little bit. You know, I was working on some um just on rebranding and stuff like that. And, I'm, and everybody just been killing me for like a, a year and some change. Yo, when you bring them cookies mm -hmm. back, people that I didn't even know know about the cookies just hit me up. Yo, when them cookies coming through, so um they coming what? back. I'll tell y'all what. What kind of what's what's the different type of flavors of cookies you got? Yeah, so the ones that I had before was um, strawberry shortcake, cookies and cream. I had birthday cake and uh, peanut butter M&M. But we were on the same flavors and some new flavors and some new some new tastes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When can we expect that? Um, uh, That's what I said. I'm going to give y'all too much in <laughs> my mouth. So before the end of the year, before the end of the summer, I can promise that. Uh, okay, before the end of the Okay, all right. Okay. All right. I'm well, trying to we'll... make it, you know what I'm saying? Say that again? I'm trying to make sure that I relaunch the correct way, so I'll never gotta relaunch again. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes, yes. Listen, do it, do it the right way. All right. Well, I appreciate you so much for stopping by. Um, anything else you wanted to you wanted to drop real quick? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Just um, with the shits is out now, streaming everywhere, music video on YouTube, and computer money coming out in about two weeks. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yes, and we look forward to this album. You said it's gonna be next year ish next year -ish. yes next year <laughs> all right we look forward to it again thank you so much for stopping by all right y'all be easy now love all right guys thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of indie talks um, that was an amazing interview, amazing energy. Definitely check him out. Again, King Hustler, CEO is his Instagram. Um, follow him. Check out his apparel. Listen to uh, With the Shits, because that song will definitely have you doing 90 on the freeway. Because, honey child, I know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, tune in with us next Monday for Music Mondays uh, with uh, me and Aisha. So we will be back. And yeah, guys, have a great rest of your week. Toodles.